up, colors of tribe of Judah. They are black under the bronze. But we just read Christ comes from the tribe of Judah. We just read Christ, the tribe of Judah is black. What is this in front of us? Brainwash. That's exactly what it is. So who is that man? Bring it up. This is. That's not the one from Israel. That's not the one from Israel. This is the image of the beast. Right. Yeah. The Bible talked about that. And that's supposed to worship the image of the beast. That's the image of the beast. That's a hundred percent contrary to how. Right, let's finish though. Listen. The scripture says that not to worship the image of the beast. Let's see how Christ really looks in the Bible, because guess what? It's in the Bible. Read that. The book of Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord's sprang out of Judah. Is evidence in the Bible that Jesus the Christ sprang out of the tribe of Judah. Another E for my sister. Beautiful. Stick around. We'll give you some history on your own people, okay? Read that again from the top. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14. For it is evident that Stop. our Lord do you hear this? The scripture says that there's evidence that our Lord Jesus Christ sprang out of Judah. Read it from the Bible. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So Jesus Christ sprang out of the tribe of Judah. Right. Where's your father from? Belize. Belize. So according to the Bible, Benjamin? No, it's Ash. That's Zebulon. That's Zebulon. That's Zebulon, Central America. No, 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 it's, it's both, it's both. You may have some, you may have some Jamaicans that move there, but, yeah, but, you come, I, I heard of the artist's voice. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, but this is why we bring it out, read that. Keep reading, read it again. The book of Hebrews chapter seven, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord's brought out of Judah. So there's evidence in the Bible that Jesus Christ came from the tribe of Judah. Did you ever learn that coming up in church? You heard it now. I how? Was raised in church. You wasn't. I was raised as a Jehovah's Witness. Okay. If you look at the Bible a little bit different. How different? They dissect the Bible. They're more cultic. Cultic. So you escaped that cult. Definitely. A great. Oh, Definitely. give the sister here for escaping that cult. Right, so the people who conquered Puerto Rico, what nation of people are they? Those are the Spaniards. Spanish. Now they talk, they show us as Christ being a white man. We read here that Christ came from the tribe of Judah. Even if you don't read it there, it's linguistics. The way he came from, look at the land he came from. Right. The people of the African continent create a white man. It doesn't make any sense. Perfect. Now listen to this. Remember, Christ came from the tribe of Judah, right? Let's hear what how Jude, the tribe of Judah looks. Read it up. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourned. Judah is in the state of mourning. Why? Because all the crazy things that's going on to Judah. Read. And the guests thereof languish. And they have no real leadership to show them the way. Read. They are black unto the ground. What color is the tribe of Judah? They are black unto the ground. Yes, but we just read Christ comes from the tribe of Judah. We just read Christ, the tribe of Judah is black. What is this in front of us? Brainwashed. Brainwashed. That's exactly what it is. So who is that man? Bring it out. This is. That's not the one from Israel. That's not the one from Israel. This is the image of the beast. Right. Right. Peter Bible talked about that. That's supposed to worship the image of the beast. That's the image of the beast. That's a hundred percent contrary to how Pope's wear. The beast was scarlet and purple, but the Pope's wear in Rome in the Vatican. Right. Let's do this though. Listen. The scripture says that not to worship the image of the beast. Let's see how Christ really looks in the Bible. Because guess what? It's in the Bible. Most people say, oh, no one knows how Christ looks. But the Bible tells us all over how he looks. How tall he is. How short he is. If he's fat, skinny, if he's handsome.
some of these ugly, dark skin, light skin, woolly hair, or blonde hair. The Bible gives a descriptive, Bring it out. very descriptive of how he looks. Read that. Right. The book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servant things which must surely come to pass. So people say that nobody saw Christ, but we just read that there was a revealing of how Christ looks to John the Revelator. So it was revealed to him. Why would God have that revealed and written in the Bible, how Christ looks? Decipher what's real and what's fake. So who can decipher it? So these people can decipher it. That's the 12 right. tribes of Israel, you That's be from right. the tribe of Ephraim. Where are you from, my sister? Puerto Rico also? No, I'm from the Bronx, New York. Where, where's your parents from? I, my, my mother's from PR and then my dad's from Jersey. Okay, so... You know where I came from? Yeah, you know. Know. And he sent and signified by his angel and his servant John, who bear record of the word of God. So there's record here in the Bible of how Christ looks, of how the angels look, of how the 12 tribes of Israel look. Why? Because it's going to become a time in day and age we're going to be lied to. We're going to be conquered. Right. So what should conquer, brainwash, retaught a new language, given new foods to eat, given a new heritage, right. what else comes with that? They're going to show you, give you a new God that your parents never knew about. Hey. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.